taking delivery of the fireplace that I bought from eBay. I was, I did think about buying some bits of wood myself, but I just thought, this, I'm just gonna get angry. It's too fiddly and complicated. And by the time I bought this wood, I think it probably would have cost near all the amount of wood I'd ruined trying to do it. So this I bought from a company I found on eBay and they sent it out nice and quick, so that's great. And it was not mega expensive. So I'm gonna build it now and then decide if I'm gonna get some little, because I bought quite a plain one. They do have a, you know, quite a good range of more ornate, but they're a lot more expensive. So I thought, well, if I've got the plain one, I've got some old bits of wood hanging around outside. I'm gonna paint it anyway. So then I can put some more trim on it and maybe do some bits and pieces. So I'm gonna try and build it now. Now what I've done, now there's different ways you can do this. What I've decided to do, because this skirting board here is very much attached, and I decided the simplest thing to do would be to chisel or cut out with my cutter either side, and then it will literally just slot over. So obviously you could take that off if you wanted to, or just cut a section out, but I just thought the easiest thing to do would be that. And that is my glamorous assistant that's holding it up as I decide how I'm going to attach it to the wall. Now I'm measuring out the bottom piece. I bought this from Home Base. I think it was £10.50. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut out a section like this and slot it in. So I'm just going to measure that now because I could possibly just sit it on it but I think it'll be just secure if I just slot it in. And I'm gonna slot it in over the carpet and then I'll paint it to match that. Tuesday. It's really warm today. I think it's my fireplace. Okay. And those two holes, because I moved it from the other side of the room, are really, really annoying me because I'm going to fill them. So today I'm going to transform this into autumn. So let's see if I can do it. I'm not sure why there is a snack wrapper chucked on the floor. So here are some of the things I bought to do it. I bought these discs from Amazon and various things from eBay and Amazon. I'll link everything below where I bought it from. Um, this sort of, I don't know, faux gypsophila, something like that. So this is what I'm using. So I have attached all the little discs on here and some of them I've gone for kind of 3D. I wanted to make it look quite natural, not too forced. So I haven't stuck them all across here because the fire is going to go there and you won't see that bit. Uh, I didn't go across the bottom bit either. You could, but I have run out, so I've stopped. So I'm going to put the fire back and let's see. 
There we go, it fits perfectly. I love this little fire, it's just a plug-in one. I tend to fold that, I put stuff here and here so you can't see this black bit. Um, all the big screws holding my fireplace in. I will link below where I bought this fireplace from and I basically, it's been on the other side of the room, this side just attach it to the wall. Uh, so I'll link the seller, mill made in the UK, really good with loads of different designs if you just want to create a simple fireplace. And then I'll also link where I bought this, it's brilliant. With how that's looking and I'm now going to dress it. <laughs> It's actually a really beautiful garland from Cox and Cox. I'll link it below. It's got these faux succulent garlands on it. Then I've just added some blueberries, some white berries, some little cones. My lights that I have around all throughout all year. Lovely starburst. I'll link everything below. Um, it's not dark enough. These are on a timer, so I have two candles. Then I've put my beautiful little houses that I got from Hobbycraft tree I bought last year from home base and I am quite pleased with that I think that looks quite Christmassy it's the worst time of day because you can't actually see it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and show you in the <laughs> 